So today I am going to be doing my book talk on Judy Bloom's Blubber. As many of you may have noticed throughout the readings and such of this class, Judy Bloom is a widely challenged and banned author. Um, so this book was uh, one of her books that has been Bloom or that has been banned. So um, we're having a bit of a situation here at camp that has made it so I can't have my actual copy of my book here with me for this video but I was able to um, take a picture of the cover this is the newest cover and as you can see it has the picture of just simply a whale's tail and this comes into play throughout the book so this book was written for children ages 8 to 12 so that's um, so it's pretty much meant for uh, upper elementary to early junior high. Uh, going into a bit of a synopsis of the book, it is told from fifth grader Jill Brenner's uh, perspective. And <clears throat> Jill kind of starts out the book talking about uh, typical fifth grade classroom type of things. Um, so important characters to note are First, Jill's best friend and neighbor, Tracy. Tracy is not in uh, Jill's class, and she kind of starts off by musing about how she's not overly excited that they're not in the same class. Um, Tracy is Asian American, and that does come into play later on in the story. Uh, other important characters are mostly um, Jill's classmates. Uh, First off is Wendy, and Wendy is kind of the popular girl that everyone wants to impress and wants to be friends with. And uh, along with Wendy is Wendy's best friend, Caroline. Um, other important characters from Jill's class are Donna and Linda Fisher. So the book opens with a typical day in a fifth grade classroom. And Mrs. Minish, Jill's teacher, has assigned them to do reports on a mammal. And so Linda Fisher is giving her report on the whale. And Linda is talking about the whale's blubber and what it is used for. And Linda is a bit of a pudgy girl. And so Wendy begins uh, by passing a note to Jill. And this note says something to the effect of um, that they should call that uh, Linda is a whale and she should be called Blubber and so this note ends up getting passed around the classroom and it kind of begins this um, begins uh, the theme of bullying uh, um, against Linda and so Jill is kind of hesitant to bully Linda but wanting Wendy's um, wanting Wendy to notice her and to become friends with her she kind of joins in even though it's not necessarily something that she wants to do okay so passage that is important a passage about the bullying that I wanted to include in this video is this. Uh, right after group science, Mrs. Minish told the girls to line up alphabetically. We're going to the nurse's office to get weighed. Everybody groaned. We get weighed every fall and again every spring. If I had known today was the day I'd had have eaten a huge breakfast and worn my fisherman's sweater. It's the heaviest thing I own. I was first on line, with Donna Davidson right behind me and Linda behind her. Wendy and Caroline were near the end of the line since their last names start with R and T. When we got to the office, the nurse said, take off your shoes, please. Then she called, Jill Brenner, right here, I said. I didn't take off my sneakers. I was hoping that the nurse wouldn't notice. Then I'd weigh two pounds more and she wouldn't be able to give me a lecture about being underweight and how I should drink malteds every day. 
Please take off your shoes, Jill. I can't. She gave me a funny look. Why not? I promised my mother I wouldn't. My feet get cold when I go barefoot. It will only be for a minute. <clears throat> I'll get sick if I do. Jill, stop being silly and take off your shoes. Oh, I kicked off my sneakers and stepped on the scale. I hoped it was, the, was at least five pounds overweight. Hmm, the nurse said, wiggling the marker all around. Sixty-seven and a half. I smiled at her to show I was pleased. She checked the chart. That's not much of a gain, only half a pound since last spring. Well, I told her, I guess I'm just lucky because I'm always eating. You should try to build yourself up. I'd like to see you weigh about 72. Why don't you start drinking a malted every day? Okay, I said, stepping off the scale. I have never had a malted in my life, but what the nurse doesn't know won't hurt her. The nurse was pleased with Donna Davidson. Davidson. She has one of those perfect bodies where everything fits the way it should. Linda was next. I took a long time getting my shoes back on, so I heard everything. Are you feeling better, Linda? The nurse said. Yes. Good. Now let's see. Oh my. 91 pounds. That's too much for your height. I have big bones, Linda said. Even so, according to my chart, according to my chart, you should lose some weight. But I'm on a diet. Well, that's a step in the right direction. Remember, no sweets. I know it. After lunch, we went outside to jump rope, and Donna taught everyone this jumping rhyme she used to sing to the fattest counselor at summer horse camp. Oh, what a riot. Blubber's on a diet. I wonder what's the matter. I think she's getting fatter. And fatter and fatter and fatter. Pop. Bruce seemed to enjoy jumping to Donna's rhyme best of all. It suits him even more than Linda because he weighs over a hundred pounds. And when he jumps, his whole body shakes like jello. He's the one who should be on a diet. Linda didn't wait her turn on mine. She ran back inside and didn't come out at all during the recess. So one of so there is a theme of bullying throughout this book. And as I stated earlier, it begins with Linda, but then in a little bit of a plot twist later on, Joseph finds herself in a very similar situation to uh, Linda. And so um, this book was banned one for um, its content uh, about bullying, but also for its use of curse words. So there is a couple curse words that occur um, in the book in some dialogue between some characters. Um, I think that the topic of bullying is an important topic to cover with students and it's a tough topic that um, can make a lot of people uncomfortable to talk about but it, at the same time especially with this age range um, it's a very important topic to talk about and it's uh, bullying is something that has been seen more and more today um, whether it be cyberbullying or face-to-face -face bullying and in this instance it's bullying with girls which can sometimes be uh, much harder to spot because girls tend to be a little bit uh, sneakier and not, they're more uh, verbal and emotional kind of um, bullying rather than physical bullying. So, um, yeah, so Jill uh, helps in bullying uh, Linda. Um, some of the things that they do to um, Linda are, you know, make her say that her name is Blubber and they make her do different situations or do different things. Um, they'll trip her, you know, sing songs, calling her Blubber, you know, different things as that. And so. So I think it's a tough topic 
I think it's also a very important topic and I think that we're seeing that it is more I think we're seeing more and more that it is an important thing to talk about with students and so although this book has been banned I still find value in its message and um, those couple curse words are easy to black out I remember reading books that were ha included curse words and they would just be blacked out with a marker and it doesn't really take away from the story um, you still have that important message which is bullying and so I think that Blubber is a great book and if you haven't read it before you should definitely check it out especially if you're going to be uh, working with children I think it's a valuable book to um, for children to read and it kind of gives why bullying is not a good thing and it kind of talks about uh, body image and um, peer pressure as well so those are big topics when you're uh, in upper elementary early junior high that you're really struggling with those types of things and so I think it's an important uh, time to be talking about those big struggles that they're going through instead of kind of avoiding it. So thank you for listening and I hope you guys read it.